Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 10.1 locating roots. 10.1 represents chapter 10, section 1 of the Pearson A level Maths Pure Maths Year 2 textbook. Okay, I'm going to introduce this topic by going through what it means by root of f of x. Well, root of f of x is equivalent to writing the statement solutions of f of x equals 0, which is equivalent to writing the statement x intercepts of y equal f of x. Over here, I've got a coordinate grid y against x and I've sketched the graph of y equal f of x for the domain x is more than or equal to a but less than or equal to b. My first observation is that f of a is smaller than 0. My second observation is that f of b is more than 0. So I can conclude that there is a change of sign in the interval a to b. So f of x has a root x equal alpha in the interval a to b. What does the root of f of x mean? Well, it is just the x-intercept of y equal f of x. So in particular, I can label this x-intercept x equal alpha on my coordinate grid. So here it is, x equal alpha. Here's an exam star question. f of x is equal to sine x minus ln x. x is greater than 0, where x is measured in radians. Part A, show that f of x equals 0 has a root alpha in the interval 2.2 to 2.3. So the first step is to work out the value of the function at the point x equal 2.2 and at the point x equal 2.3 respectively. After putting my calculator on radian mode and inputting my values x equal 2.2 and x equal 2.3 into the function, I get f of 2.2 is more than 0, f of 2.3 is less than 0. Okay, now that's the end of the first step. The second step is to write down a conclusion and the conclusion is written in the following way. There is a change of sign in the interval 2.2 to 2.3. So f of x has a root alpha in the interval 2.2 to 2.3 and that there completes part a moving on to part b by considering a change of sign of f of x in a suitable interval verify that alpha is equal 2.219 correct to three decimal places Right, what we need to do now is work out the upper and the lower bound of alpha equal 2.219, which is given to three decimal places. So, 2.219, upper bound, that would just be 2.2195. Lower bound, that would just be 2.2185. Now, my suitable interval will therefore be 2.2185 all the way up until 2.2195. This is my suitable interval. The next step is to work out the value of the function f of x at the point x equal 2.2185 and 2.2195 respectively. So after using my calculator, I get that f of 2.2185 is more than 0 and f of 2.2195 is less than 0. So now I can write a conclusion and the conclusion is there is a change of sign in the interval 2.2185 to 2.2195. So alpha is equal to 2.219, correct to three decimal places. Let's have a look at stationary points. So over here, I've got coordinate grid y against x, and I've sketched the graph of y equal f of x. My first observation is that f dash of a will be more than 0. What does f dash of a represent? f dash of a represents the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point x equal a, and as we can see over here, the tangent has a positive gradient. My second observation is that f dash of b is less than 0. What does f dash of b represent? f dash of b represents the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point x equal b and as we can see over here the tangent has a negative gradient now we can write a conclusion there is a change of sign in the interval a to b so f of x has a stationary point x equal alpha in the interval a to b i'm going to label x equal alpha on my coordinate grid so x equal alpha represents this particular point over here 
and we can see that at the point x equal alpha the tangent will be precisely horizontal which indicates a stationary point here is an exam star question on stationary points h of x is equal sine 2x plus e to the power 4x x is in radians Part A, show that there is a stationary point alpha of y equal h of x in the interval x is more than minus 0.9 but less than minus 0.8. The first step is to differentiate our function h of x. So h dash of x is equal 2 cos 2x plus 4e to the power 4x. The next step is to substitute x equal minus 0.9 into the function h dash of x and x equal minus 0.8 into the function h dash of x. After carrying out my substitution, I get h dash of minus 0.9 to be less than 0 and h dash of minus 0.8 to be more than 0. Now I can write a conclusion to get the final mark and that conclusion is as follows. There is a change of sign in the interval x is more than minus 0.9 but less than minus 0.8 so y equal h of x has a stationary point alpha in the interval x is more than minus 0.9 but less than minus 0.8. Moving on to part B, by considering a change of sign of h dash of x in a suitable interval, verify that alpha is equal minus 0.823, correct to three decimal places. The first step is to find the upper and lower bound for minus 0.823. So let's start off with the upper bound. The upper bound will be minus 0.8225. Next, the lower bound, will be minus 0.8235. So my suitable interval will be x is more than minus 0.8235, but less than minus 0.8225. What I need to do now is substitute x equal minus 0.8235 and x equal minus 0.8225 into h dash of x. After carrying out the substitution, I get h dash of minus 0.8235 to be less than 0 and h dash of minus 0.8225 to be more than 0. So now I can write a conclusion and my conclusion is as follows. There is a change of sign of h dash of x in the interval x is more than minus 0.8235 but less than minus 0.8225. So alpha is equal minus 0.823 correct to three decimal places.